Well, hello, welcome to my kitchen. This is Cynthia coming back to you again today with another video. Now, today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to make this dish um, that I'm going to create with fonio. If you don't know what fonio is, this is fonio. Hopefully, it's not showing as reverse uh, mirror. Um, it's fonio. It's extremely nutritious. I will let you know. I will tell you the contents of the uh, of this in a minute. This is much better than quinoa, much better than brown rice, and it's f mostly from West Africa, in Senegal. You know the western Af western part of Africa. So once uh, my oil is about to burn, so let me get to the cooking, and I will let you know more about fonio in a minute. So I'm going to start off with uh, nice hot oil. And um, I'm adding my onions. This is all, you know, my own recipe. Um, instead of eating boring, um, it can be boring if you don't um, spice it up. It can just be like cooking couscous. It's very, very similar to couscous. So I'm just going to make it almost similar to jollof rice or, you know, fonio jollof rice, except that I don't have tomato sauce or tomato paste. So I'm just going to use a little bit of fresh tomatoes that I have. So I'm just let's let's just start, you know, with this. And then the next time I make this, I didn't plan this actually. My ingredients will go on back. My fruits and veg my vegetable, you know, was just getting a little bit old in my fridge, and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I just decided to just make something out of it. So now I'm just going to make uh, something similar to um, jollof rice, but with fonio. Funnier, funnier, funnier. If you really try this, it's going to be your best. It's going to replace your rice. It's going to replace your couscous. It's going to replace your uh, quinoa. And it's going to replace most of those um, grains in that area, this, that family that's supposed to be very good for you. All right? So let me stop talking and get to this. And with this funnier, you really have to, you know, wash it. And just like the same way you would do rice, you know you will do with the uh, fonio. I got mine online. You can definitely find it on Amazon, but I got it from another website that was much cheaper than Amazon. I believe it's called Thrive Market. Um, I will leave the link below or just anywhere. Amazon, I've ordered it from Amazon before when it was on sale and I loved it. So I'm just going to let this brown, the onions brown just for a few minutes and then add um, just add my um, other ingredients so right now I'm gonna add my tomatoes my fresh tomatoes so this is how I diced up all my ingredients I have I have my bell peppers yellow um, red uh, where is my green bell peppers? I don't know. Then I have my diced um, string onions and then I have garlic and I have a little bit of uh, cilantro. I just really add whatever I have in my fridge. There's no special method to this. You just make it your own. Ah! Hey! I'm always screaming. Always screaming about summer. Why is it? I'm busy. I'm always screaming. -y. All right. So... I sh actually should have added my string um, onions first. So, I'm going to add it now. This is almost like potogum shiugum, if you know what I mean. If you're from Ghana, you know what potogum, potogum shiugum is. So, here we go. I mean, I'm using um, uh, avocado oil, which is really, really good and healthy. So... Let me let it simmer for a minute and I'll come back to you. Okay, so now I just added my bell peppers. I thought I was filming that part, but it wasn't recording. So I just added my colorful bell um, peppers to it. Now I'm just gonna let it simmer and wither up for about um, five minutes or less. In the meantime, let me add up my chopped um, um, what do you call it? Cilantro. It's also going, you know, I don't want it to go bad. In a couple of days, it will go bad. So I don't want it to go to waste. So I added that to it. A 
let me not forget my garlic garlic is your friend you know just add it to your meal and it's just healthy for you you know I don't know it doesn't make my breath smell depending on how you make it but even if it does so what just brush your teeth brush your teeth okay so here I'm using this thing that I got from uh, Ikea I love it I just use it to crush my garlic mm, like that just like that it's a sizzling sizzling you know all right so now I'm gonna stir it up a little bit stir it up stir it up stir it up little darling stir it up is that, is that the words? I always make up my words from since when I was a kid. You know, I always think, I don't know. That's what I usually think that what I'm singing is the correct version, but it's not. I make up my own words and then I end up loving my own. So stare it up. Little darling, stare it up. Oh, Simpson song. Don't mess up Bob Molly's song. Okay, it's too classic for you to ruin it now. Here it is. You see how it's looking? Looking nice and scrumptious. Oh! So now let me let it simmer for a few, okay? So this is how Fonio looks like. It looks a bit like gari, a bit like uh, couscous, a bit like um, um, quinoa. Um, or you know all sorts of grains in this family so I'm gonna wash it the same way I wash um, rice and then add it to it as if you're making jollof rice the same way so um, this is it it actually looks a bit lighter depending on the brand that you buy um, this brand from Thrive Market looks a bit darker than the one that I I bought in the past from Amazon you know but here it is so now um, my vegetables are just nice and it's sizzling, looking really nice and scrumptious. See, you see it? All right, I'll be back. You know what I just thought about? I um, I have this opened, um, um, what is it? A can of um, uh, coconut milk, thanks Cynthia. A can of coconut milk that I used part of it to wash my um, hair. I added it to a hair um, um, uh, conditioning that I was making so now the leftover is also sitting in the fridge and I'm getting ready to go on a trip for a week so you know I don't want all my the stuff sitting in my fridge to go bad so I'm just going to make jollof out of it so I'm going to just add the fat oh look at this fat I'm going to add the fat you know to my um, vegetables so it's almost like you're making coconut oh nice looking nice and creamy it's looking nice and creamy look at that coconut milk you know and I just I it was open it from the can and then put it in here the rest the leftover it and, and and stored it in the fridge so I don't want it to go bad because I know I'm not going to be here for another week so here it is mm, look at it it's looking nice and creamy mm. you see nice and creamy nice and creamy so i'm going to let it just cook for maybe two minutes before i add i also have this um mushrooms that i sauteed i bought this mushroom from costco um i love mushrooms i just love mushrooms they remind me of meat it's like eating meat without eating meat you know what i mean so um i sauteed it it's sitting in my fridge and i'm going to add this to it so everything that i don't want it to go bad i'm just going to add to this so mm, this is just going to give it like that meaty taste you know to it without really having meat in your in your food so if you're a vegetarian this is a very good option you know but you can also add meat if i had it i would definitely add it but i'm adding my sauteed mushrooms to it mm, i wish you can smell it it smells divine it smells really delicious i'm going to add some garlic um salt you know for seasoning oh i haven't even opened it yet okay uh all right i'm adding some adobo 
I don't normally buy this, but I saw it in the market. I went grocery sh shopping one day when I was extremely hungry. Don't do that. You buy everything, any and everything. So I added a little bit of uh, this seasoning. It's um, Creole style um, seasoning. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. Mm -mm, mm -mm. The smell is absolutely divine. Mm. Mm. Then my Larry, um, I mean garlic salt. Mm -mm -mm. Normally, sometimes I add my um, cubes from Ghana Maggi cubes, but not today. Look how creamy this looks. Nice and creamy. Now I'm going to add my um, um, sautéed mushrooms, and this is with garlic. I sautéed it with garlic, and I'm going to add it to my ingredient. Hey camera, please. Because I really didn't adjust you or position you right. So, Portuara, I'm so a master. I dumb camera set up now. Then we will do better. But until now, look at it. Looking so scrumptious. So, 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 so scrumptious. So now, Maribel wash me, um, my friend, and Fonio. Fonio, Fonio, Fonio. I know a lot of people don't know about this. I mean, I found out about it um, a, a year or two ago. Um, Dr. Sebi really highly rec recommends this. If you know who Dr. Sebi is, look him up. I will link him in the description box below. So I'm gonna wash this and add it. Just like you're making um, any type of, you know, rice, the way you wash rice, do the same thing to the fonio. I'll be right back. So this is how it looks when you wash it. You have to be extremely careful because it's extremely fine, extremely tiny, tiny. And if you're not careful, you will lose it. You will lose it, you know, when you drain it. So be extremely cautious when washing it, all right? So now, look at this. Look at the sizzling. Look at the sound. Say the sound of sizzling. No, we may zibanimu. Is ziban? Is ziban? Pepe bia oya zo. Hey, look at it. Some scrumptious, delicious food. Ah, bro, funu kwa pumba. But look at it. Check it out. Now, I'm going to add it to. I'm going to add it my uh, washed uh, um, fonio to the ingredients sauteed um, vegetables and wow well, today my area jollof rice without the the rice you know which is not as as nutritious as this don't get me wrong I love my rice you know jollof but this is another level I mean you will not feel guilty about this because it's extremely extremely healthy extremely nutritious and very very good for diabetics so this is how it's looking you see now says yeah mama all the water you know um, evaporates we steam out and then come to you and then dish this out so that it boom it boom next time i went nigeria and uh ghana i think they're called um alex uh echo house of you know during market day and they know what's on seasons um grains and all kinds of stuff i believe you can find it there but definitely you can find it in senegal in sierra leone and mali and most mali especially and most part of uh western um region of africa i mean western re yes of course west africa so it one day is simmering you see it's simmering you would definitely find this in west africa or a sizzle or a sizzle or a sizzle look at it check it out all right into no minyaden 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 oh minyaden minyaden soup I'll add a little bit of water. I mean, the can crave it back home. And the 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 water from the vegetables is are, is just enough. So I mean, the crave it I just added a little bit of water to it. You know. So. Um, uh, my food is good. I mean, pet too much spicy food. I don't know why. I mean, because my husband pee much like punishment. Say, see, I'm a little bit of uh, parsley flakes. Eh, come home, my one man, you know, 
you know nice colorful look it's already very colorful but i don't know i don't know what you know sometimes but you know with with logic um look how it's looking i'm going to add a little bit of smoked paprika smoked paprika can you see it all right i know i hope it's not reverse but why i don't know because i'm extra i'm extra it's not necessary i'm just extra 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 read all about it extra extra read all about it extra extra read all about it extra extra read okay once when you're cooking it too, make sure that you constantly check on it and turn it. You know, today, Eric cook jollof rice. It's like cooking jollof rice or rice, you know, it will easily burn. So, um, actually, it doesn't really easily burn, depending on the type of, um, the type of uh, pot that you use. This is non-stick. In Taiwan, it's not even sticking at all. But make sure that you constantly turn it. And to right now, no, me still, remember we used to do, I'm going to let it cook for about five minutes or less, and then serve it okay i'll be right back okay all right same one this is how it's looking this is how it is looking or oh, today it's almost like gary photo if you're from ghana you know what gary photo is you know what i mean but it looks like it looks so much like gary photo but also like couscous also like quinoa and also like um, I can think of it but anyway so damna or look anyway so then I'm going to serve it it's nice and cooked it's sizzling and when they're still not because of the pot it's, it's not sticking but it's done all right so let me serve it and then get back to you okay so now this is the finished look I hope you like it as much as I enjoyed it it's really looking very um, I hope you like it as I enjoy it. It's looking nice and delicious and healthy and um, enjoy. I love the finished version. This is how it looks. The fonio a little goes a long way. It's like rice, you know. It gets um, it increases in volume. It increases, you know, it double its um, weight or volume. So this is the finished look. Enjoy. Bon appetit. All right. Okay, so now this is the finished look. The finished look to my fonio. This is fonio mento form. Mento form. Ah. So this is my fonio jollof rice. You know, it went nice and healthy. I chopped a little bit of cilantro to garnish it. So uh, mm, mm, delicious. Mm, 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 mm. You have to try this. This is all mm, delicious and healthy for you. Feel free to add any kind of meat or vegetables that you want to add. This is not written in stones. Just do your own. Add your own version. Whenever I see something, instruction or tutorial, I always... I don't always stick to the protocol. I usually, you know, make it my own version. So, you know, you can add can um, mackerel or meat or goats or whatever you want to add. Just make it your own. But try it. But today, Gary Foto is like couscous. It's like quinoa. But extremely delicious and healthy. It has a nutty flavor to it. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you hit the notification bell. Until next time, make sure that you come back to my channel. Make sure that uh, you comment, like, and uh, whatever you want to do, just do it. And be kind and have a blessed day. Goodbye. All right. Chop, chop. All right. Now let me get to my food.